Welcome to another inspirational teaching from Tim Warden Communications. Our mission is to honor God and deliver all his benefits. Today I want to share with you about core values. Ang lately ang pinag-usapan natin was about intimacy. And I said, I believe that intimacy is what every human being is looking for. Yun po ang sigaw ng puso ng bawat tao. It's not that we want glory or career or job or money to buy things. Really, what we want underneath the surface is that someone will know all about me and still accept me. Acceptance. Kaya into me, see. Nakikita nyo ako. Makikilala mo ako, all the good and all the bad, lahat ng aking dirty laundry, lahat ng aking kasamaan, but still, despite kung sino man ako, I would still be loved and accepted. That's intimacy. That's closeness. Hindi na kailangan mapakunyari, hindi na kailangan i, you know, mamuhay ng patago, iba yung mga cover-ups. You can just be totally accepted. Friends, God loves you that way. And even if you know it or don't know it, He accepts you like that. And so intimacy is very, very important to fulfill our lives. And I believe that there are four things that build intimacy. First one is commitment, communication, conflict, resolution. And today I want to share with you about core or common values. So ito po ang uh, huling uh, topic sa ating series. Okay? And you can get all of those online or in our gift shop. Uh, bago tayo ituloy, let's pray and let's ask nga ang Holy Spirit siya magturo sa atin ngayon. Okay? Holy Spirit, we believe that you are uh, wise and able to teach us. I pray na hindi yung salita lang, yung salita ko lang ang maririnig this morning, but we would hear the, the, the spiritual channel of your download into our hearts. Now, i-customize niyo po ang mensahe nito for every individual that we would have clarity. Magiging malinaw ang direction ng buhay namin. Magiging uh, swak ang mensahe nito to, uh, to the very need that we have right now today. Every person would hear it in such a way na you are the one talking to our hearts. And Lord, we know that if you talk to us, we will really be changed. So change us this morning. We are open and receptive to whatever you say because we believe that it will be good in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, bawat organization, company, governments even, military, they have core values. Uso na ngayon eh, pinapost ng mga core values. Coca-Cola, Microsoft, lahat, meron silang core values. Sa U.S. Marines, they have just three core values. Honor, courage, and... Ano ba isa? Honor, courage, and commitment. Ganun. Air Force, Navy, lahat sila may iba-ibang core values. Punta ka sa mga government offices, may core values. Even fast food chain, may core value. Coca-Cola's core value is quality, excellence, integrity. You know, they all have core values. And even sa ating church. Kung tingin niyo sa baba, pag bumaba ka sa hagdanan, makikita mo dun sa right side, there's a big poster there that says core values. Usually three to five, but I'm so aggressive, I like eight. Kasi pag tumingin ako sa stop sign, it's an eight-sided polygon. Diba? And so I thought, let's have an octagon of core values. And I believe that those core values are from God. Core values are something you will live and die for. It's something you so believe in. So doon sa handouts niyo, may dalawang sheet or dalawang sides. And the one side na maraming words doon, Mahaba, yung parang exercise yan, how to discover core values. I, I turn over na lang yan, fold it, and let's do the part na may mga fill in the blank. And the first part there is how we define core values. You know, core values are our beliefs or convictions that guide and direct uh, our behavior. 
and they also support my purpose and vision in life. So core values will guide both yung internal na conduct, kung sino ka sa sarili mo, yung what's happening inside sa, kalo- sa kalooban mo. But core values also um, guide yung ating relationship with the external world. Sa kung paano ka mag... Uh, pakikipag, yung pakikipag-ugnayan sa work, sa tao, sa... Everything is guided and directed by your inner beliefs. So yung kung anong mahalaga sa iyo, yun ang value. Di ba? Pag value, sinasabi niya, halaga. Pag I value you as a friend, naglalagay ako ng halaga sa ating friendship. Okay? Even sa produkto, we would say, this is not just, hindi lang mangga. Ginawang value-added mango. Anong ibig sabihin? Binalatan, you know, they cut it, it was already sliced, nakalagay sa supot, may alamang, may stick pa. Yun value-added mango na yan. Ibig sabihin, tumaas ang halaga. So core values are what's important to you. Core values give us a compass. Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, di ba? Pag compass, alam mo yung direction, kung saan ang north. And in our lives, kailangan natin ng compass so that we know the direction our life is going. Kailangan pa natin ng vision. Where do you want your life to go? Anong destination mo? Anong gusto mong destiny? Because base sa ating choices today, yun po ang aking destination bukas. Wherever you want to go, you'll be surprised how much power you have. It all just depends on your choices today. And it bases on your core values. Because, listen, ang life decisions mo, ang daily decisions mo, will always come from your core values. Hindi ka talaga magdi-decision on something that is not important to you. Your values will dictate your decisions. Values define who I am. Not who I want to be. Not who I want you to think I am. Core values are who I am in the dark. Na walang nakatingin sa akin. Hello? Huwag ka matakot sa core values. Kasi it's just who you are. Like it or not. If that's important to you, yan ang values mo, yun, ikaw na yun. And the values will always influence our life. You know, pag tayo ay namumuhay kontra sa, sa values, you feel awkward. You feel yucky. Pag nakagawa ng, ng something, na action, or pag may sinabi ka na hindi ka ayon-ayon sa values mo, you feel yucky. You feel like a fish out of water. Why did I do that? That's not me. That's not what I... Diba? Have you tried that? May, may na, na, nagawa ka ng something or you made a decision and it was not really aligned with who you want to be. With your it, You feel so awkward. And that's because we value something. Everybody, everybody values something. And pag may kamit ka ng tao and you guys share the same values... Boom! That's the thing that builds intimacy. Pag ang mahalaga sa yo, mahalaga din sa kanya, yung pinaka core na values that builds intimacy. You know, bakit kami ni Bambi? Bakit naging kami ni Bambi? She's from Palawan. I'm from Texas. Iba ang lifestyle niya. Iba ang lifestyle ko. You know, we have not really so much in common. Sa katunayan, hindi naman kami, you know, we don't have the same foods and music and, and movies. We don't, we don't really have so much in common pagdating sa mga interests. Ang lifestyle ko, hindi kamukha ng lifestyle niya. So why is it that these two separate people, na walang masyadong overlapping interest, how did we become intimate together? Because underneath the surface, 
there is a core thing, that a value that she embraced. It's so important to her. And guess what? Ganon din yung sa akin. No namit ko si Bambi, buhay niya. Bahay, school, church. Ayun pala. Ang core values niya, family, church, and doing the will of God. Maski malayo na yung lifestyle ko, hindi ganon. But ganon din ang core values ko. Family, church, and doing the will of God. Sa akin, it's very important that I do the will of God. Gusto kong mamuhay sa kalagitnaan ng kalooban ng Diyos. And I feel so yucky if I'm outside of God's will. And I feel so fulfilled and successful in the center of God's will. Sino nakaka-relate sa akin? You know, ganun. That's how, that's how it means. And that's why when you meet someone that has the same values with you, you start bonding together. Mag- nagiging magaan. That's why yung mga mountain climbers, you know, if, if they, kahit galing sila sa ibang uh, district or what, when they all have the same goal, we want to peak that mountain. Then habang sila umaakit sa mountain, they start bonding together. Because why? Shared vision. Shared values. Ganon din sa mga, you know, teammates. Maybe sumali kayo sa all-star team. Or baka sumali ka sa isang pageant or something. Like that. But the same goal, the same values, you start really bonding. You become the best of friends. Ang United Nations, di ba? Um, minsan nag, nag-deploy sila ng mga peacekeeping forces. Naggaling sa iba-ibang, iba-ibang bansa, iba-ibang lahi. But when they go on a mission and they're doing the same uh, goal, they have the same values, they become so close together. They become the best of friends and protect each other. So intimacy, write it down. Intimacy develops when we share common values with someone. Intimacy develops. Now, I'm not talking about common interests. Hindi yung you know, nag-meet kayo, uh, naging spark ng romance kasi we have so much in common. Yung mga kabataan, minsan, they would say, oh, I met my soulmate. Di ba? Sa mga online dating, mayroon pang parang survey bago isusuggest kung sino yung type mo. Mayroon kang pipilapin doon what music you like, what food, you know, food, music. And they look for someone na may something in common. Para relate mo ako dyan sa kanya. We're a perfect combination. Just you and me. And you think that that will build intimacy. Oh, short term, makikita mo parehas ang hobbies. You know, maybe you like the same foods. You, you have the same school subject. Merong the same career na pangarap, or even the career looks. Or you know, you like her looks. She likes your looks. You know, and uh, but trends change. Temporary po ang mga trendings, and it changes soon than you think. So common interests are not eternal, but common values tatagalian. Hindi nagbabago halos ang common values. But take note of this. You do not create your core values. You discover them. This morning, I hope you will discover your core values. Pero hindi ko sinasabi na dapat mag-invento ka. Dapat maglagay sa buhay mo ng core values. Sa totoo lang, everyone in this room, lahat na, nakaka, na nakakarinig sa akin, you already have core values. You already have things that are important to you. You have something in your life na napaka-precious sa'yo. Your, your beliefs, your convictions. Hindi pwedeng wala kang convictions. It's impossible to have no convictions. Everybody already has core values. Baka hindi ka lang aware kung ano yung mga yan. Because in school, they don't teach you this. 
We're not, we, we didn't grow up having core values as our you know, daily lesson. Pero actually ngayon, yung anak ko, four years old, na, nabubuo na yung kanyang core values. Tinanong ko siya ng the other day, what is important to you, Zion? Sabi niya, kindness. Ayun, isa yun. Mayroon siyang kindness. That's one of his core values. And kung kilala nyo ang anak ko, si Zion, ang isa sa mga core values niya is fun. Fun. He likes to have fun and he likes people to have fun. Okay? Worship. Okay? Ito mga core values niya. So nabubuo para maging uh, solid at hindi balutot ang kanyang buhay. He'll have a direction and a focus to live for. How many of you need some direction in your life? How many of you feel like you need to be focused on the purpose of your life? That's right. So core values gives that. So whether you are aware or sometimes may mga values that you have, pero hindi ka lang aware. Pwede ka magdig, pwede ka mag-analyze or you dig deeper. Look into your activities, into your relationships, at madidiscover mo kung anong talagang mahalaga sa iyo. Kung ipakita mo sa akin ang iyong budget, kung saan napupunta ang pera mo, masasabi ko sa iyo kung anong core values mo. Pag makikita natin yung time, kung saan ka nag spend time, kung saan ang uh, source ng, or ang, de, ang ano ng focus mo, kung saan ka nagbibigay ng efforts and energies mo, I could tell you what is your core value. Kasi it always manifests in the way we spend our time, the way we spend our money, and our attention and efforts. For example, may nagsabi na, ang core value ko is yung trabaho ko. Pero wag, wag kang manatili lang sa surface. Go deeper. Is it really? Yun ba talaga ang core values mo? Trabaho? Hindi. If you go underneath that, kaya ka nagtatrabaho kasi may sweldo. Ayun pala. Sweldo pala ang core values. Ay, wag kang, mag, wag, wag kang huminto doon. Go deeper. Is it really sweldo? Is it really pera na nagusto mo? No, no, go deeper. What do you want? You want to provide for your kids, your wife. You want money to travel, buy food, etc. Diba? So, pag dig deeper, 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 yung nga pala eh, family ang core value mo. Hindi pala trabaho. So, minsan, hindi mo madi-discover ang core values mo if you just stop at the surface level. You got to dig deeper and look at really what is the core of what you want. What's important to you. Yung iba, sabi nila, ang mahalaga sa akin, ang core value ko, barkada ko. Kasi we're very close. I love them, they love me. We stick together all the time. All for one and one for all. Ganon. Yun ba talaga ang core values mo, parkada? Is that really your core values? Ibig sabihin, never na mag-separate ways kayo. But if you go underneath the surface, hindi pala barkada. You go with them because you feel a sense of belonging. O, oh, yun pala, mas, na nagiging mas malapit na sa core values. Belonging pala. Why do you go for belonging? Why do you want belonging so much? Why do you want to be in? Go under the surface. Kasi, you want to be accepted. So, acceptance pala ang core value mo. Hindi barkada. Are you tracking me? Are you following me? Alright. So, later on, I'll share with you yung isang uh, activity to help you discover your core values. Pero just, just take note of this, that some values I have, okay, my own, and some values I hope to have. Kuha nyo? May mga values na nasa akin na ngayon, currently. They are what Madi-discover ko, this is yung tunay na current values ng buhay ko. Agree, it, agree or disagree, ito talaga ang values ko. At meron din tayong mga madi-discover na, uy, 
Ganda ng core value yan. Sana yun din ang mahalaga sa akin. And na, 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 naisin mo. But it's not really currently mm, activated in your life. It's not really something that you show is so important to you. But you agree with that and gusto mong maging values yan. Values mo yan. For example, lately, ang pinugusapan natin sa church is about intimacy. Right? And maybe before, hindi mo iniisip intimacy. Maybe before, ang values mo is, you know, entertainment. Or, yung nga, pera. O value mo is freedom. O, kung ano-ano. Maybe yung core values mo is recognition. Gustong-gusto mo may mag-appreciate sa'yo. But then, you heard about intimacy. You heard me say that kapag close and intimate ang connection mo sa Diyos, it will overflow into every other area of your life. If you're intimate with God, you will have intimacy with others. You'll have good relationships. Fulfilling because so so maybe you said you know before hindi mahalaga sa akin ang intimacy but right now I see the I agree I want that sa buhay ko so pwede pala na ako in pwede pala mag choose or mag decide na I want that to be my core values so intimacy with God yun po we're talking about core values common values with God will create intimacy with God. And intimacy with God will result in a quality lifestyle and relationships. Sino sa inyo, honestly, you would like to have a better quality of life? Tasang kamay. Isn't that what we want? Hindi naman sa, I want a job, I want a car, a better cell phone. It's not the cell phone you want, it's a better life. It's not a better job that you want. You want a better life. We want to have a quality life. We want our lifestyle, this, the standard of our life and living, na umangat. And we want good relationships. Bad relationships, bad life. Kahit gano kataas ang sahod mo, pag palpak ang marriage, you will not be happy. Tama po ba? Kaya, Jesus said in John 10.10, 10, I have come to give you a quality life, the, of the abundant life. John 17, 3, Jesus said, you know, this is, the, this is the way, this is the definition of quality lifestyle. He said it's, it, it's the eternal quality of life. Hindi na sa haba ng taon, no, so many, it's a, it's a different kind of life, a different quality. He says, this is eternal quality of life that peoples will know you, the only true God, and they'll know Jesus. So, yun pala, intimacy, closeness with God, close relationship with Jesus, yun pala ang nagproproduce ng napaka sarap na lifestyle and relationships. Doon mararanasan mo ng abundance, victory, prosperity, Health, sa katawan, sa isip, sa emotions. Mararanasan mo ng, vic- na, ng joy and peace and the absence of fear. You could actually live a confident life. Hindi yung puro, ako. Hindi yung puro defeated, pala victim. You can live an overcoming championship life. And that's my, that's my vision for you. Producing champions. In life, champion lifestyle, champion relationships. That's what I want for you. And so, that's what Jesus said. He said, you know, I came to give you a good life. And so when you have intimacy with God, boom, you know results. But listen to this. Conflicting values will hinder intimacy. Kuha nyo? Imagine, sa bahay pa lang, makikita mo ng mga examples. Pag conflicting ang value ni tatay at ang value ni junior, pag hindi 
kaayon-ayon. Si Junior gusto niya fun, video games, you know. Uh, he wants to explore, experiment. Gusto niya freedom. E si tatay, gusto niya medyo conservative. He wants yung security. Ang value niya is uh, lahat kakain sa bahay, sabay-sabay. Pag may conflicting values, magulo. Walang intimacy. It will create conflict. No? Sa mag-asawa, pag ang value ni Mrs. is, um, you know, gastos, kaliwa at kanan, value niya is galante, branded dress, perfume, travel. Pero ang value ni Mr. is gusto niya mag-ipon, conservative, cost-cutting. Nako, malabo. Makakaroon sila ng conflict sa bahay, di ba? Sino sa inyo minsan may mga conflicts with the people you love the most? Yan? Yan, with the people you love the most. Because of why? Bakit may conflict? Because of different values. Kung anong mahalaga sa kanya, hindi, mo, hindi, hindi big deal sa'yo. By the way, sing it ko lang. This is a little bit... Let me see if you're married. Tas ang kamay if you're married or want to be married. Yan. Okay. <laughs> May tool na ginagamit kami ni Bam before ano, for marriage conflict resolution. Remember, conflict is not all bad. It's only bad if hindi na re-resolve. Pero if the conflict is resolved good, it actually brings intimacy. Conflict resolution produces intimacy. Pero when we had this conflict before, we decided na kung ang issue... Kung saan ka nagdi-disagree sa akin, bigyan ng score or a number from 1 to 10 doon sa issue. For you, is this a scale of 1 to 10? Yung halaga na ang issue nito is a 10, which means you are non-negotiable. Talagang basta kailangan niyo. And you, this is my way. This is my stand. Ayoko magbago. That's a number 10. Or... If medyo flexible ka, you have your belief, you have your conviction, gusto mong sabihin yung side mo, pero it's not so big a deal. Pwede sabihin mo, that's only a five or six for me. Para doon, kasi ako very uh, verbal. And pag meron akong belief or meron akong opinion, talagang prang ka, sasabihin ko, talagang ganito, ganyan, ganyan. Pero it might appear na I'm so passionate about that. Until na maglalagay ako ng score, a scale of 1 to 10. And then malalaman ni Bambi na, it's only a 4 for me. That issue is only a 4. Gusto ko lang ma-explain yung side ko. Pero it's okay, I'm flexible. Kung ang, ang issue nito may disagreement, sa kanya it's a number 8. Sa akin it's a number 4. It is sa, sa kanya na lang. We go with the higher score. We will go with her score. Because hey, for her, it's a big deal. Sa akin, hindi ganun ka big deal. So pwede ako mag-give in. And then may mga times din, sa akin, it's a 9 or 10. Sa kanya, it's only 2. So then we go with me. We go with... So ganun, it can help you in marriage. Okay, guys? Would that help you? Magbigay ka ng, ano, eh, ng weight or ng score doon sa iyong mga disagreements. Okay, bonus lang yan, huh? Now... Conflicting values hinder intimacy. Jesus said like this, doon sa Matthew chapter 6, verse 24. He said, no one can serve two masters. Because either you will hate the one and love the other, or you will be devoted to one and despise the other one. You cannot serve both. You cannot serve both values. They conflict. You cannot serve both God and money. So ang sinasabi ni Jesus, there's a conflict of values dito. You cannot have this value at the same time na you want that. Conflicting yan. And then 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 10 says, the love of money is the root. This is the love. Hindi ibig sabihin money. But the, the love, yung paglalagay ng gaano katinding value on money. That becomes your core value. He says, that produces all kinds of evil. 
Kung yun ang core value mo, it's, it's going to produce bad fruit. And Paul said, some people who have set their hearts on getting rich. So anong ibig sabihin? They put as their core value, hanap buhay, um, yung pangarap na umaman, and they put, they set it in their heart. Ibig sabihin, naglagay sila ng big value on the money. That was so important sa buhay nila. One of the top priorities, money, getting rich. Dapat, tapos ng pag-aaral ng mga anak. Dapat, ano yung business first? Kahit na Sunday, hindi pwede. Getting, they set their value. They set their heart on getting rich. He says, they wandered away from the Christian faith and caused themselves so much grief. Wow. Do you know anyone like that? Do you know anyone that puts such a high value? Your core value is getting rich. Oh, it got quiet all of a sudden in here, no? Maybe you yourself, if you're honest, maybe you would have to say, that's one of the most important things in my life. It's getting financially ahead. Okay? Between you and God. But the thing is, he said it's dangerous kasi iba yung halaga ng Diyos, ibang halaga mo. Maybe that's what's hindering your intimacy with God. Jesus said, what, would you, what will you gain even if you win the whole world but you lose your life? Kahit umaman ka, kahit everything you want, you can get it. Pero damay ang soul mo. That's why in our core values here at SFCC, one of the core values is souls. Because Jesus said there's nothing greater than, there's nothing you can give to exchange for your soul. It's the highest, most valuable thing in the universe. Jesus calls souls true riches. Don't think gold or money or dollars are true riches. Sa heaven, gold is like dirt. Sa kalsada lang makikita mo ng gold. But there is something valuable in heaven. Sa mata ng Diyos, sa, sa world ni God, the economy of heaven values souls. That's why Paul said in Colossians 3 verse 2, Set your affections on the things above, not the things on the earth. Set your values Put worth, put yung halaga mo, not on the things of this earth. Make it your core value, the things in heaven, the things above, the spiritually significant, the eternally important things. Now maybe, sa ngayon, you're wondering, core values ko ba eh? Kalugod-lugod sa Diyos? Kaayon-ayon sa core values niya? Maybe you're wondering if discover mo ang values mo, they might be misaligned or conflicting sa values ni God. Well, what should I do then? Ito ang question of the day. What should I do if I discover my values are not godly? Anong gagawin natin? Okay. Sinong gusto malaman nun? Okay, tuturuan ko kayo. What to do? First of all, you have to know your core values because let's say for example na gusto mong makarating sa Baguio. You want to go to Baguio? You're not there yet but you want to go there. Before you know how to go there, kailangan malaman kung saan ka ngayon. That's your starting point eh. So mahalaga na ma-discover ang ating core values ngayon so that we know where we're coming from. Minsan kasi ganito, no? I want to just share with you. 
ako naranasan ko minsan na ang core value ko is somehow distorted. It's not the right one. And I said, Lord, how can I change this? Even though kakahiya na aminin, I have to admit, my core value is not what it should be. Yung value ko is like, this. like for example, in my case, it was perfectionism. Now, everybody will tell you that's not healthy. But I'm very perfectionist ako. To the point na minsan na frustrate. So I said, Lord, what's that? That's wrong. And the Lord is showing me, minsan kapag wrong yung, yung ugali mo, it's like you have just only distorted the values that God meant for you to have. For example, you're in the dark because there's a shadow. Alam mo yung concept ng shadow? A shadow starts with something light, but it's the dark side of the light. Nagets niyo? A shadow is the dark side of something light. And so our wrong values could be the dark side of something good that God planted inside your heart that He wanted you to have, but you just got your direction turned around. Are you following? For example, na nanamo ko is that perfectionism, perfectionism. Ano ba talaga? Bakit ganon ako? Bakit ganon ugali ko? Why is that so important to me? Then I realized, yung tiranim ng panginoon sa akin was not perfectionism. That was my um, failure to embrace God's core value for me, which was excellence. Siya nga pala, I was meant to have a value for excellence, pero na divert to perfectionism. Parang na off track ng konte. And you can do that too. Maybe um, sa buhay mo, aaminin mo, I'm a people pleaser. You know, I like to please people. Takot ako pag may nagagalit sa akin, pag may uh, nagtatampo sa akin. I just want to make everybody happy. I want to please everybody. Nako, mahirapan ka. Core value mo yan will get you in a lot of trouble and you'll never be happy. But maybe you could look deeper. Why am I like that? Bakit mahalaga sa akin to make people happy, to please people? Why am I afraid of criticism, etc.? And you might discover that God put something inside you for you to value community, for you to value relationships. Not distort lang. Nakaroon ng virus lang yung value that God put in you. Are you following me? So help, God. I need help to change and to get back and to redeem the right way that God wanted for me. So the first thing is you can let God's word influence your thinking. That's the first thing. You know, tips, no? Let God's word, hayan mo, i invite mo ang salita ng Dios, which is very powerful na mang influence ng utak mo. It's, you know, our brains are amazing. Parang hard disk. At parang computer. And everything in your life goes through the brain. Pero sino sa inyo, you can admit that sometimes ang laman ng utak mo, marumi. Hehe. Minsan, hindi maganda, hindi malinis ang brain. And it needs to be cleaned out. I got good news for you. Ephesians 5.26 said that we could become holy and clean. We are holy and clean. Paano? By, we are washed by the cleansing of God's word. Ang salita ng Diyos pala ang nakakapaghugas ng mancha ng ating pag-iisip. How many of you would like to have a good brain washing once in a while? You know, we need that. I know it sounds crazy to say brain wash, but God's Word can wash our filthy minds. Mabuti ka pa. Sabi mo, mabuti ka pa. You're brainwashed. <laughs> it, it's, we need that. Eh. 
Kaya every day, just go to the soap, go to scriptures, and hear the word of God. Read the word of God. It can change you. Romans 12 verse 2 says, Let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. And then you'll learn to know God's will for you, which is perfect and you know, pleasing. So the next one is, after, so God help me. God, let your word change my thinking. Baguhin mo ang aking core values. Kung mali yung vinavalue ko, Lord, can you change me? Do you think God can change you? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. If you're willing, God will change you. And you know, you will not change you. God will change you. You will not change you. You cannot, hindi mo kayang ayusin ang buhay mo. If you're here today, nakangiti sa labas, but inside, ang gulo ng buhay mo, inside you're depressed, you're fearful, you're angry, you're emotional, you're not stable, but you know, God can change anyone. If you allow His Word to influence you, His Word will do miracles to stabilize your life and make you who He wants you to be. He'll give you a championship life. The second thing is, mismong ikaw. Hindi mo kayang baguhin ang sarili mo, but you can change your mind. Diba? San tayo kakain mamaya? Jollibee. Check. Nope. McDo na lang. Anong nangyari? Nagbago ka ng decision mo. Pwede kang magbago ang pag-iisip mo. Kung malalaman mo na ganito pala ang core values ko, I value, um, you know, whatever it is that you value. I value gambling. Yan. I love it. I'm addicted to it. But you said, you know, hindi naman ito nakakabuti sa akin. This is hurting my relationships. I choose, even though that's important to me right now, I choose, to, I choose to value something else. I want to value investing in God's kingdom. So pwede mong akuin, pwede mong i-embrace. This is the, letter, the next one there. Decide to embrace what's important to God. Mga kapatid, align your values with what God thinks is important. Maski na hindi ka pa totally na living it, maski hindi ka pa talagang nararanasan na yung, yung value na gusto mo, but you can still choose to go ahead and make that the values that you want. And the third one, this is very important, is to spend time with people who share God's core value. Spend time with people. Hang out with the people who has the values na gusto mo. So tingin mo, or ask yourself the question, who do you respect so much? Who are, who are some of the people that you look up to? What qualities do they have? And you can see, if I spend time with this person, maari yung biyaya ng Dios na nasa kanya, matatransfer din sa akin. Mayroong tinatawag na impartation. If you open your heart and let someone who is carrying the core values ng Dios sa kanyang buhay, Talagang, he's living it. He's walking in it. And then you put yourself near that person. Mag-usap kayo. You spend time with that person. Merong tinatawag na impartation. Mangi impart Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 2, talks about the negative one. Sabi ng Diyos, when you get into these nations, the Lord gives you nations, you must not intermarry with those people. Do not let your daughters and sons marry their daughters and sons, for they will lead your children away from me to worship other gods. Or sa ibang salita, they will lead you away from me 
to have different values. Are you following me? The principle ng Old Covenant ng binabawalan ng Diyos na makipag marry or makipag engage sa mga tagalabas sa taga ibang bansa that was actually a sin bawal yun but the principle is still true today na ang purpose ng Diyos he doesn't want us to enter covenants with bad influence that will lead us na sa ibang value and maski na akala mo na oh i will be the one to influence her I will be the one to influence him. No. Even the wisest man in the world, Solomon, anak ni King David, he was led astray. First Kings chapter 11, it said, King Solomon loved many foreign women, and besides the Pharaoh's daughter, sigma, tagalabas yung Pharaoh of Egypt, mga taga Moab, Ammon, taga Edom, Sidon, and the Hittites, it says the Lord had clearly instructed the people of Israel, you must not marry them because they will turn your hearts to their values, to their gods. Yet Solomon insisted on loving them anyway. And the result was, come on, read it with me, he had... 700 headaches and 300 ulcers. No, and dami niyang kasi wives. You know. And the Bible said that in fact they did turn his heart away from the Lord. And in Solomon's old age, they turned again. Pa ulit ulit niya. They turned his heart to have other values, to have other gods, and instead of being completely faithful to value the Lord. It says in 1 Corinthians 15, verse 33, that bad companions will destroy good character. It doesn't mean hindi mo pwedeng makipag friend sa taong na maraming bisyo, or what? It just means to say, kung yun ang lagi mong, uh, you know, influence, because yun yung naging influence sa'yo, ng papa influence, it can destroy your character. It will, it will hurt your godly values. Pero ito ang magandang balita. The reverse is also true. That good company, if you position your life around good companions, it will build good character and the right core values in you. Mapapalitan ang mga wrong values mo and it will become good. You'll start taking on, you'll start na developing the good core values that God wants you to have. Diba? Proverbs 13.20 says that he who associates with the wise grows wise. So position yourself around people with godly values. Talk to them, get to know them, and let them impart and transfer to you. Especially romance or long-term business deals. You want to connect with people that has, number one, the same director, and number two, the same direction. Diba ang director ng movie siya ang nagsasabi na, okay, cut, action. And then he will say, okay, actors, you go here, you got to do it. He sets everything up and, and they have to follow. The plot should follow what the director wants. Di po ba? O sinong director ng ating, syempre yung buhay natin, hindi naman drama, but we need a director for our lives. Who's the director of our lives? Jesus Christ Ang Panginoon, ang Master. Siya ang direct. He calls the shots. Siya ang author. Siya ang nakakaalam ng best. And disciples of Jesus have a Master. Kung, isa, kung ikaw ay disciple ni Jesus, you are not just doing what you want to do in life. Meron kang Master that you trust. You trust His directions. 
e eh kung ang partner mo, hindi si Jesus ang Panginoon ng buhay niya, makakaroon kayo ng hindrance sa intimacy. Kasi iba ang nagdirect ng life mo, iba ang dadirect ng life niya. It's like you're both working on a project, pero ang metro niya is inches and feet. Yung sayo, meters and centimeters. It won't work. And if you have different directions, different goals, different focus, different set of priorities, kung ikaw gusto mo, you want to honor God and win souls, but siya ang gusto niya, pera, fun, iba ang kwan. You, you want to grow your life, ayo mo maging stagnant, pero siya hindi. I want you to watch this interview. Now we, we, we interviewed a woman na taga church, she's one of us, she's one of our family. And she loves the Lord. She loves the Word of God. Ang naging valuable sa kanya, yung relationship niya sa Panginoon. Worship. Pero yung asawa niya, may ibang values. And watch the conflict sa kanyang puso. What is the most important to me? Up, I worship God. When I start having devotion, I share with you what is the But my husband doesn't want me to do that. Once I started coming to church, she would, he would have a bad day. What I want is to learn. That's why I go to church. I want to learn what the Bible says. I told my husband that no matter what happens, I will always go to church because this is about where I learned how to love, to love my neighbor. I, I learned wisdom from God. I want to have a personal relationship with God. And I'm going to hold on to his word no matter what. So my husband doesn't understand that. My husband is to sit down and drink and he doesn't really care what will happen in the future. But I keep trusting God and saying that, that you are in control, God. But someday, he will also come with me to church. I'm just going to keep bugging you. Grabe, no? Nakaka-relate kayo. So, you understand yung situation, yeah? Well, it's very important that, that you have shared values with God para yung intimacy mo kay God will develop. And as I said, Pag, pag intimate ka kay God, mag-overflow yan sa relationships mo sa iba, sa kapwa. And, uh, you know, it, it's, it's, uh, it's something very important. Sa amin ni Bambi, we started really writing down our core values. Sa Warden family, syempre mayroong kanyang-kanyang personal, pero as a family, na-define na namin yung core values. So for us, we value building intimacy. Pangalawa, we value family, loving family. We value doing the will of God. We value God's love and grace. 
Those are the five things that are very important to me. Parang story of my life. Yung love ni God, grace ni God, uh, doing His will, family and, and, and intimacy now. And so I hope that in your life, you will discover and align your values to God. Kaya kami ni Bambi naging intimate because we both you know, I just don't know ko anong gagawin ko without Bambi. <laughs> Before, na single ako, parang kompleto na ako. Masaya ako sa buhay. But now I realize God gave me Bambi to shape my values. To be aligned kay God. Siya yung nag encourage sa akin. Siya yung nag, nag, uh, nakikinig sa aking mga struggles. Siya yung nag-correct ng attitudes ko. And she confirms decisions. Kung sino nag-care most about my spiritual growth, si Bambi talaga ang nagmamalasakit about that. She can speak life into me. She can uh, encourage me. So I tell you what, you need intimate relationships with people that has the same core values with you. So ang gagawin natin ngayon, probably the last few minutes, or pwedeng i-take home, now you discover your core values, isulat mo, write them down, memorize, talk about it. Declare and share and write your vision statement ng buhay mo. Where do you want to go? How do you want to change the world? And then maganda rin na i-visualize. Like si Bambi nung last week, meron siyang parang vini-visualize. Ini-imagine niya ang sarili niya na naka, parang naka-rest, naka-higa siya sa chest ni Jesus. And whatever na gusto mong mangyari sa future, you can visualize that. You see yourself being intimate with God. See yourself building a 1,500-seat champion center. See yourself graduating from, from uh, you know, college or building a business. Or see your family. Imagine and dream of your family. Makakasama kayo lahat worshiping God. So these are very good things. And in this activity, doon sa back ng sheets niyo, simple steps to discover your core values. May mga nakasulat doon na mga sample words lang, but you're not limited. Pwede ka magdagdag, pwede ka mag-invento pa ng mga words, use Tagalog, Ilocano, whatever. Basta may mga sample doon to give you ideas. Brainstorm. Bilogin ang lahat ng mga words dyan na you think is valuable sa'yo. Not what you want, but what you really believe are your convictions. What resonates with you the most. Okay? Just write them down. Don't be too serious. Have fun. You know, have fun with it. Pero circle, 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 circle. And then, pagkatapos na lahat ng mga possible words that na inaano mo, important sa'yo, group them into five groupings. Anong groupings? Ikaw ang bala kung anong gusto mong groupings. Basta makikita mo na, o itong word nito at saka yung word na yan, parang magpinsan, para may connect yan, nakaka-connect yan. So group mo sila para may, may makakasama yung into five groupings. And then sa mga groupings na yan, pili ka yung isang word which is parang the best word to describe kung ano yung halaga sa puso mo. And when you do that, makikita mo na yung core values mo. And of course, as you go on, another exercise, pwede mong tanungin sa asawa o sa parents, sa friends, what do you think are my values? Nakakaroon ka na another perspective because other people will see how you live, what's important to you. Pwede ka magtanong na, can you give me feedback? What do you think is important sa, sa buhay ko? And that will help you na ma-pinpoint yung core values mo, then you can start aligning them with God. Kung ang core values mo, hindi kaayon-ayon sa Diyos, you can ask Him to change you. You can decide to embrace His values. And you can position yourself around people that have godly values. And I believe that your relationships will benefit. Mararanasan mo ng intimacy because your life will gravitate to people who shares common values with you. I thank God for what He's doing in your life. Ako ay nagpapasalamat. Nandito ka at hindi ka na mamuhay na parang walang direction. 
magulo, parang walang vision, but God is giving you a mission. And I hope na yakapin mo ang mission to honor Him and to deliver His benefits. I hope that you will uh, sumasangayon sa vision ng church neto. An excellent church of great influence producing champions in life. And you are one of those champions. Thanks to the glory of God, thanks to the grace of God in our lives, we can do so much more than we ever dreamed because God is on our side. We hope you enjoy listening to today's teachings from Tim Warden. For more life-changing audio and video teaching resources, call the San Fernando Christian Community at 0919-846-6849 or visit our website at christian.com.ph and add us on facebook.com slash sfccphilippines. If you're ever in La Union, visit us along Ortiga Highway, Santiago Norte, San Fernando City.